Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time, we did a second round of going around the galaxies and getting prankster comet stars from all of them. This time, we'll be doing more of the same, but have you ever wondered about the complexities of the human mind? Well, I've been thinking about them lately, and I've come to the conclusion that you are utterly useless. I'm sorry to say it to your face, but it just, come on, man. Why would I spend 30 star bits for a chance at extra lives? There's respawning extra lives every time I come back to Starship Mario. Heck, I just got one of them right now. And if you're really having that much trouble that you need more lives, the fact that they reset every time you turn the game off, it's infinitely more useful to have the 30 star bits. Because like I've said, it is actually kind of unforgiving how many star bits they make you grab throughout the journey. We haven't seen it yet, but trust me, you want to be grabbing as many of them as possible. Now, getting into the nitty gritty of what we're doing today. We're gonna be cascading up some waterfalls like a little fish that became a dragon in the Hightail Falls speed run. Our little Yoshkins is getting in on the action. He's been missing in action for a while, in fact. Even, gosh, for a place they named after him, Yoshi Star Galaxy didn't even include him in its prankster comet run. A lot of these missions that have nothing to do with the original one, but this is certainly not one of them. We have a time limit. We have meteorites not doing as much damage as you'd expect to a place made entirely out of wood. And most terrifying of all, everyone's trying to make out with you. There's a smee ship ahead that we're gonna go past. And it's okay, I know how to deal with these types. I know how to deal with them. We're gonna share this hot pepper together! <laughs> you thought that sharing food with the Yoshi would be way more romantic? Well, I had news for you. I, I personally shared, like, uh, do I wanna go into food that I have shared with uh, significant others before? Well, there's one time we tried sharing chocolate. It was, oh my God, disgusting. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> don't wanna think about that. It was so goofy and gross and uh, uh, Okay, well, speaking of things that are awful and terrible and no good and very bad, on top of that is a one-up where the Penguin Master Sensei who taught me the importance of dollars was. I'm gonna grab that as quickly as humanly possible or usually possible. I got some really good airtime going off of that ramp back there, and you can still get really good airtime off of these. Just generally reduces the amount of time it takes to do things. And we'll go up this way. I have to say, I'm a big fan of the Super Mario World pandering. I like Super Mario World a lot. I think overall it's a better game than Mario 3, at least to me. Uh, it's my favorite of the classic 2D Marios. <laughs> Sorry about that, bud. Uh, you've taken a lot of damage to the head specifically in this place before, and it's only getting to become customary, I guess. Uh, but I like Super Mario World a lot. A lot of the time, it's always Mario 3 pandering and stuff like that, and they never really acknowledge Mario World all that much, so I'm really happy to see this music come back, because I'm not tired of it. I think it really has a good place. I tried to grab the one up. I tried to grab the one up. I shouldn't have grabbed it. Gimme, no! what I get for leaving my friend to die. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh. Oh yes, you're fine. I suffered no consequences for my actions, great. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Pokemon, how everybody gets mad at like all the Kanto pandering. And while I get it that Kanto is the single most recognizable location in all of Pokemon and the one that I think everyone knows, so I get it. I have to ask, where is all the Johto pandering? Like actually, Sure, it didn't sell as good as Red and Blue, but it sold very close to those amounts. A lot of longtime fans consider it the best game. I know a lot of people that say their favorite Pokemon is from there, and if not that, then a lot of people say that's the best round of new Pokemon we've ever gotten. So many hits are in there, like Espeon and Umbreon being some of the most loved EV evolutions, Tyranitar, uh, I could go on for days about this, okay. That's not what we're doing here, I'm getting very off topic, but it just, it got me on that. I had to tangent a little bit, because it bothers me that there's never any Johto pandering and yet there's so much potential for them to do it and people aren't tired of it yet. Give me the star! Somehow did it. All while complaining about trends in Pokemon, I was able to do this just fine, better than when I'm actually talking about what I'm doing. Yeah. 38 stars, galaxy complete. It's a pretty one-note place, so I'm not overly sad about that. As fun as it was, didn't overstay its welcome. Whee! Swing your partner, do-si-do. -si -do. 
pull on the throttle and here we go. That's all the prankster comets? There's some that haven't turned into prankster comets yet, but yeah, that's actually all of them. So now I'll show what happens when you open this up. It goes straight to Bowser Jr.'s castle. <laughs> no need to play any other levels whatsoever. <laughs> and it's funny because World 3's got a lot of levels in it. There's one beyond this guy, so we still got four more whole stages that we don't even have to see. The lamest reason for ever going into a haunted house, I'm lazy and don't want to go to the next area because I'm already here. A glimmer of bulb berry. That fruit represents a glimmer of hope within us that everything will be okay on the other end. Speaking of Super Mario World, have a listen to this. Yes! Ghost House theme. I picked a good time to talk about enjoying all these references. Uh, these right here are Octoboos. Spinning splits apart the ectoplasm so that they turn non-solid and can't hurt you for a moment. That's the scientific explanation for why it's such an effective move on ghosts. This works on all types of ghosts. Keep it in mind for the future. For now, I really hope this bonus room doesn't make me kill the dead. Nope, it doesn't. These are pumpkin Goombas. You gotta hit them once to knock the pumpkin off. And alternatively, ground pounding goes right through them. Unfortunately, they can make will-o'-the-wisps to burn you. Uh, ground pound and spin is also effective. Uh, I'm not gonna do this in time, not even remotely. Well, I'm not gonna get the one-ups, but I can at least look at them, or not. Okay, wow, now I really have no hope going into this. Nothing over there. What about, um, I don't wanna go in there yet. I wanna go over this way and look down. There is level geometry. Okay, no, there's not level geometry there. It's weird how those pillars are just sitting on nothing, but I guess that just kind of happens when you're an object in space, and why start complaining about it now after all that we have done and seen? Nothing that way. Okay. Just gotta wait for the right timing, and then move ahead. Long jumping is your friend. It's sort of like an extreme version of screen wrapping, only the platform does it, and you do not. You cannot be so special as to expect these things when you are playing with the ghost's rules. That goes coins, 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 coins. I'm so happy that I told you that coins would not be plentiful. But seriously, like, there are less of them than there used to be. They used to always be like hundreds of coins in every mission and you could get up to 999 in certain ones if you knew your stuff. It's perfect is just like any other platforming challenge, there is a farmable one-up in the center of it, so it never actually reduces anything. <laughs> uh, oh, we're moving fast. We are going fast, yo. Troll those long jumps with tilting the analog stick. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go over, and gone? I hope gone doesn't mean dead. Anytime you wanna end road, thank you. Spin it around. Oh, no. oh, whoa, almost death by square dancing. That's not the way that I wanna go. Did anyone else ever have to like square dance in PE though? Because I remember that we had to and it was just constant eye rolling, constant no one wanting to be there and constant other kids not wanting to touch me. So I never had a dancing partner and had to dance with the coach. And I get that it's technically athletic exercise, but why square dancing of all things? I, I guess like country music was kind of prominent around Arizona where I grew up. It it's just bothering me now that I'm talking about it. Okay, on to something far more pertinent. Getting off topic a lot, the bulb berry that we're getting a taste of today is not as interesting as this broken up wall, apparently. <laughs> you eat it, and it illuminates this floor, making it visible. The floor is not normally here. It's not a case of being able to memorize it. Yoshi actually makes the ground around him, and it changes as you walk around it. It's a pretty cool idea for a power-up, actually, and it's yet another way that I think he's used to great effect. Now. Again, with loving Super Mario World and references to it, I have to point out some very clever reference here. Did you notice that the power up that turns Yoshi red, the uh, the hot pepper, the dash pepper, still has to do with fire? The power up that makes Yoshi blue still has to do with flight, 
And now, the power-up that makes Yoshi yellow still has to do with the ground. That's such a great way of putting a new spin on it without outright using the same power-ups over and over again and reusing the same level concepts constantly and never doing anything new or original with it. I like it a lot, and I think it's a great way to... Stop making out with me! No death by makeout! I didn't realize it was on my face until it was too late. I don't need to open any stinking door. <laughs> you can just flutter past it. Hey look, another farmable one-up in the spot that I died in. That seems to happen often. Gosh, first I think you're making out's funny. Now I don't think it's, now I realize how deadly it actually is. Walk over this way. And jump too, it's what you do. Keep illuminating this ground around me. This looks so cool having these just floating in space. Why is it gonna be over already? I died that close to the end? Not the place I expected Yoshi to get all the attention. You know, we'll stick him in a graveyard, but in Yoshi Star Galaxy, pff, no, he only has to be in two thirds of that place. Love a spank in his belly at us. Get another Comet Medal. And exactly enough for another one up. Sneaking down the creepy corridor. Well, we're going to sneak it down the creepy corridor. If you have not heard about the corridor, it's a uh, uh, often has a door at the back of it. Keeping this going, I just want to spin along on my merry way, and I gotta retry at this. Okay, so ground pound. Watch out for them will o wisping. They can't will o wisp if the pumpkins are removed. I guess there's a candle inside of them, and these are actually called Jacko Goombas, not pumpkin Goombas. Wanted to correct that, even though I'm sure all of you have done that already. Uh, go away. How do you do this one this fast? Jeez. I can kill all of them though, but getting the one up is one heck of a challenge. You can spin and jump. I just, I don't know. I. The booze won't hurt you as long as you don't look at them in the eye. Okay. <laughs> It was a bad sign! Get out of here. As long as we turn around. Yeah, they're just really cute. Just wipe your tongue at me and then, oh. What is it with tongues and making out this time? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that was all solid ground and then I could safely walk in it though, but nope. Uh, those are Mega Boos. That is the first 3D appearance, at least in a main game. Uh, and they just are booze only larger. Booze will chase you if you're not looking at them. They don't chase you while you are looking at them. They're all timid and cutesy when you are. Still hurt you though. As I said before, spinning deals with ghosts very, very well. If they're ever gonna get you, just spin for that. Got the return of Matter Mouths. Now with 100% less death. Very new and improved. Keep going. Uh, I know people are going to point out Big Boo in Super Mario 64 to me, and no, that's not the same thing as Mega Boo. They're considered separate enemies, so that's why I'm taking time to acknowledge it when it doesn't seem like it would be all that important. We'll grab the flag. I'm still curious if shooting a star bit at the flag does anything. I'm tempted to say no, but I haven't actually tried it yet, and every time that I think to, I've always, I've just touched the flag like one second earlier because it's just, oh god, it's, what is it with Matter Mouths killing me every time? I'm dying an awful lot on this level, actually. Let's be more aggressive. Mario tends to be harder, I find, when you're slow and careful and not when you're just going and, you know, just gunning it through everything. And I'm seeing that that is kind of apparent here as I have at least made it further even if I got hit once. Get the coin. Good as new. Mario's all nice and shiny. We've reset the, uh, the odometer on him. We'll get a good price whenever I have to uh, trade him in for another one, which I'm sure I'll be able to do because of plentiful one-ups in this adventure. Yeah, long jumping is the way to go. Oh, God. Hi. Bye. Long jumping. It's perfect spacing, so you can just do it really easily. There it is. That wasn't so bad. Just had to concentrate. <laughs> 
was kind of hoping Luigi would show up in this mission. After all, catching ghosts is kind of his thing. Forty stars! Feels like a big number. Forty always felt so much bigger than thirty to me. Much bigger than twenty to thirty sounds, at least. Uh, now... Uh, sure, we could take a look and see what level option we could get with this Hungry Luma right here. Come on in, Chester. The name that I've arbitrarily decided to give you. Hey you, yeah you, got any star bits I can snack on? So hungry, feed me delicious star bits. I need to chow on a thousand then I'll transform! The way he flails is up, <laughs> I like the one extra star bit at the end. I didn't do that, that was the game. <laughs> just like, he's like, oh no, I think I'm gonna pop and then just pop one more in so he can't handle it. <laughs> Oh! I think that sounds like a perfect way to die horribly at the end of this. Yahoo! Step to the beat. Or beep. <laughs> Uh, I knew I had no rhythm, but inability to read musical terms. Now there's a new lack of talent when it comes to music that I wasn't aware of. Now for this level, you would really prefer if I would be quiet. Yes. <laughs> On the big beats, they change color. There's Goom Beetles on the orange, and then there's Octumbas on the green. The enemies despawn as well. It is possible, very possible in fact, to stand on the neutral area between two blocks and not fall. If you got one foot on one, one foot on the other, you're probably going to be fine. Now, the thing is, dying in these sorts of things is rough. The rhythm, or um, because the uh, rhythm is constant, You'll have respawning from a checkpoint cause the timing to be thrown off from what you were used to in your previous run, and to somebody who's bad at rhythm and would prefer to just have optimal movement, that's hard for me. Boom. Okay. Uh, no, uh, well, okay, I'll grab that first. I'll take a checkpoint, because why would I not? And again, I don't hit it with a star, but I'll remember one of these days I pro- Mario, stop helping me. <laughs> He's trying to grab onto ledges and- Latch onto walls, and I didn't want any of that. I just wanted to drop. Long jump. Good. Uh, I'll take you right away, just so I don't have to worry about you later. I've gotta go across here. This is where rhythm levels... <laughs> he despawned at, like, the last possible frame before he would have hit me. Same with that guy shooting his rock at me. I was going to say, this is where rhythm levels in Mario games got their start. This would go on to appear in many, many more 3D Mario titles. For better or for worse. <laughs> I don't think this was ever meant to be multiplayer in a traditional sense, but this is where it all got its start, and if you like these levels, now you know. The blocks stop transitioning at the end, which means I can actually kill you, and I can get my stuff. Oh, great. Just great. Not what I thought was going to happen with that. I kind of thought an earlier level. Oh! Mario, I have a letter for you! Challenge! Race, race, racing at Wild Glide Galaxy! Don't chicken out! Don't chicken out! Come on, don't wait, don't wait! Jibber J, Jibber J! <laughs> this little stamp is adorable. I'm really getting an affinity for these guys when I didn't have one for a long time. Come see me next time there's a mail delivery! Okay, well, we have our options open to us. We have more options than we did before we went into that level because we traded one option for two. That's kind of incredible. Well, um, next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we'll go back to some previous areas, get more stars. It's what we've been doing lately, and it ain't about to stop now. See you guys then.